Hey guys, Sirio here with another bit for Blender. In this one, we're gonna be doodling a sci fi, simple sci fi engine. Uh, we're working on a new project with Josh and Ducky, so it's gonna be fun. So this is probably going to be one of these things for uh, for the new project. Anyway, just briefly before we start, guys, if you would like to support Blender Bros on Patreon, we run it together with Josh. So link in the video description, three awesome perks and a lot of cool stuff uh, for the value provided. So check it out and you might just find something you would enjoy. Also, big thanks to everyone who's supporting us. Um, let's maybe 80 should be fine. Uh, RX 90, perfect. And we're gonna make it a bit smaller, but a bit longer, right? Okay, some like that. And so let's just sharpen this and grab an end on. Come on. There we go. And slice it like that, okay. Perfect, let's apply it. Now let's grab this face here and inset it. And EY and extrude it on Y axis. Now normally what I would do here right, is I would just um, grab the uh, curve extract. The only problem is curve extract is you can do all kinds of stuff, right? Uh, but unfortunately you can't pick um, an axis. So instead of doing this, right, what I'm going to be doing is um, I'll grab the face and control click the curve extract, which will simply rip this face from the, uh, you know, from the rest of this uh, cylinder and press E, Y, and I'm going to extract it on Y axis, okay, like this, right? So that's what I want. And let me see this. This, I think, should be a little bit longer, so maybe something like this, right? Okay, cool. And let's apply scale and let's just drop a, a bit of a chamfer here, right? Awesome. Now this part, we need a, we need a scale, we need a bit of a chamfer and insert this and EY and this could actually be a little bit thicker, I think, so maybe and set it deeper and then EY and you know something like that, right? Cool. Now let's drop bevel on both of them at the same time and wait it almost by alt clicking sharpen. Okay. Cool. This could also use a chamfer to be honest, so I'm just gonna chamfer it a little bit. These small chamfers are really um, you know to introduce a lot of interest. Okay, so now let's grab this piece and uh, more or less make it symmetrical. You see this? I think that's symmetrical. Yeah, and shift click uh, curve extract to create like a plating on top. And this plating is going to be a little bit too thick, but it's okay because um, we're going to apply it and drop an edge here, right? And we're going to in fact, I'm going to split this edge with control B and then select these faces and scale them down a bit on shift Y. Uh, how does it work for me? Hmm. Not too well. Okay, let's do it differently. Um, let's scale them on the cursor. Right? So, select these and scale them on the cursor, shift Y. There we go. That's what I want. All right, perfect. Okie dokie, and let's grab this and move it to the front, right? And we're going to cut it, so we can use angle, that's fine. And now, on top of this, what we're going to do is go to 
top view or to graphics, switch to view and uh, not duplicate it. Um, D and box and also this one needs a change in bevel to weight because you can see we got some problems here. The angle simply is not being caught by the um, I mean the uh, the bevel is not being caught by the angle, so angle is too shallow. So switch it to weight. Okay, and uh, we're gonna select the stop piece and uh, draw a box here like this. All right, and we're going to. In fact, you know what? Let's draw it outside like this. Right, and press B for bevel. It's still too small. Uh, Okay, now B for bevel. And let's move it on Y a little bit here. And now switch it to slash. And remove these, these bits. And we're gonna get this nice rounded um, front here. So we can apply this. Right? And before we do that, okay, so let's run some edges here. Okay, and then let's apply all booleans. So operations and smart apply we're gonna have to do a bit of a cleanup here not too much just a little bit um we could actually run a machine tools i mean mesh machine cleanup here let's remove this we don't need it so let's run something here a lot this I don't think it's gonna work because it's in the loop, so it might not work actually. Oh, it does work, perfect. Mm. Yeah, this should do. And then simply remove these from the bevel area. And we're good to go. These are a bit too close. This one, oh, we can match them together, it's okay. All right, same at the bottom, remove this and move this one a bit. That's possible. All right, cool. So we got this plating, and I want two more on the side. So, uh, create one here. We're gonna mirror this basically. So, um, curve extract, same drill and let's apply this and uh let's drop edge here split it and select this and scale it on shift y as shift y it's too much Just a little bit like that, that's what we'll do. And resharpen this. There we go. Perfect. Let's uh, extend these. So, GY. In fact, we can put them really far like this. That's pretty cool. And we're gonna select the face, Control Q. And if you don't have Control Q shortcut, it's the um, line view. Okay. I just assign the shortcut, right click and assign shortcut. And the control Q is usually assigned to quit blender, so I just simply changed it. So let's grab a box here and let's draw a box. You need to draw outside this shape, so in fact, you know what? I kind of like this thing. Maybe I'm going to do it with an angle and do something like this. And then bevel it like this, you see? So the only thing is we need to make it larger. So uh, go here and then here and then be behind this shape. So when we slice it, right, just give me this bevel here. Yeah, when we slice it like this, right. Um, let me just uh, shift this bull and remove this and we're done. Right, shift two. How are we looking? Yeah, we're looking pretty cool. We're looking pretty cool. Okay, and um, let's just apply it. And what we can do is uh, 
shorten this one here as well so one more time control q and let's go to uh and gone slice so and gone slice like this or even like this so it's gonna be a kind of aligned with these lines here and we could uh, thicken it up a bit or you know what we could do even something better we could grab this line from here okay, okay. and shift D it and P to its own selection and then select this one select everything go to front view and you know extrude it and then select all the faces right and e y extrude on y axis okay like that and then sharpen this remove the bevel and weighted normals and simply booleans slash right i mean sorry not slash i mean uh, knife that's what i want to do and now we got this perfect line here you see um now what happened here Press 3 to clean it, that didn't work. What the hell is going on here? Uh, there we go, sorted. Okay, and then we got some additional lines in here and dots, but uh, um, if 3 doesn't clean this right, you could go to your 3d print toolbox and try to use this one clean up make manifold that didn't work okay fine we're gonna do it manually then all these points here are necessary so mm, we have to fix this because it's a bit of a mess okay the same thing on the bottom but i'm not gonna be doing it same here um this is gonna be a bit problematic i think what we need to do is move these uh, because these are supporting the main shape so you don't want to mess with these remove this one yeah um, you know that's probably a better idea like this right? there you go um, okay it should work so let's grab this one and control B this select these and s shift y and just scale it up a little bit so it's gonna be a cool shape and recalculate shops like this and just simply um come on mirror it so x to reset the mirror and boom right so we got this kind of a shape which is pretty cool um this could use a bit of a chamfer to be honest we need to fix this mess here what the hell happened here Tell you what, I'm going to wait, 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 wait. To solve this, um, dissolve this one at sharp, so it should be fine. Uh, this could be connected, in fact, this could be connected like this. Um, and this is sorted, right? The other side. You wanna fix these problems as you go, so because they will pile up on you, right? And eventually you're gonna be cutting through a really bad geo, and this will cause some serious problems. So you wanna fix these um, these things as you go. Um, this should do, right? All right, more or less. Okay. <clears throat> oh yes, chamfer. So I would like to drop some chamfer in here. A little bit like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna drop this bevel because it's insane. To something a bit more manageable, and I'm actually gonna mirror this to the other side so it's actually really symmetrical at the moment. Also, I got some problems in here which I need to fix. Um, because it looks a little bit bad so let's just fix these right 
Um, okay. Move it in here. Move it in here. Um, that would do more or less, and then mirror this to the other side symmetry, and it should work. All right, and then we can probably run the chair for here, but I think we're gonna have some problems like this, for example. So what I would do is run this edge here. It's gonna change the curvature a bit, but uh, it's okay because it's underneath, no one can see this. So run chamfer here. We're gonna symmetrize it later on, so it doesn't matter. Just a little bit of a chamfer, you know, like uh, that. And you're gonna have to fix these problems here immediately, yeah, because uh, they will creep up on you. I'll just measure them in the middle here. Here too, these ones in the middle. There you go. This one could be connected and moved slightly here. Okay. More or less. And symmetrize it. Nice. So we got these chamfers. Cool. Awesome. Now we're going to create some cuts in it, right? So we're going to have some fun with the bullions. And before we do that, let's save this. All right, so here's a little box and let's align here. And let's make a cut oh. with, a, not with a knife, but with a cut. Yeah, there we go. Let's make a cut here and Let's see how this goes. Well, it's actually shades pretty nicely. Uh, and that's mostly because, look at this shading, man. And it's mostly because of the topology. We got some problem in here. You can probably barely see this. I'm going to sharpen this. And uh, the, the issue here is uh, shift one. Um, I'm going to move this one to this one. I'm going to move these shift one together. Perfect. It should fix it. Um, you want to move as little as possible the main, the main beams, the main edges of the shape, because this is what usually uh, causes the shading issues. You see like here, see what's happening. So this is not ideal, right? Maybe we're going to be better at running something like this. This is not ideal too. Oh uh, man. This could be possibly uh, not enough support. So we're gonna run another loop here. And we're gonna break this huge angle here in half. We're gonna run another support loop from the bottom. And we're going to break this one in half as well. And this should help. Yep, it's better. We still have problem here, so this is a bit problematic. Um, so what we can do is simply run another line here and bring these angles into smaller ones, right? And this should fix it. There you go. It's almost invisible. It's still a bit of breakage here, but uh, we could change it, uh, fix it by redirecting these edges and make them flow a little bit natural. So the tension is a little bit less strain. I mean, there's less strain on the end, you know. You need to, it's difficult to explain, you need to watch how the, how the geo curves and bends and, you know, adjust your um, your edges accordingly. This is going to be a problem. This is just simply too big because you see these face curves, yeah? And it literally breaks in half. And if I introduce another edge here, this is not going to probably work. So there's, you know, as far as you can go with these. What I could do is bring this closer, right? A little bit and this could potentially solve the problem but uh, it will disturb the curvature of the whole thing a little bit but uh, but it will save the sheet solve the shading problem you see and now it's okay and the same on the other side yeah there's gonna be fixed here so um, 
just move it closer right and run it here so it's perpendicular this is way too big so what we're gonna do is again run the edge here and combine them <coughs> and run another one here so it's broken it's gonna be a triangle here but it should be fine um, this is gonna be the biggest problem here right and there's a pole which will cause issues um, but you know what are you gonna do uh, let me see this mm. this is really not ideal I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just run an edge here or simply run this one this way right like this okay and this should solve the problem there you go there's a bit of a pull here yeah well, this one is huge yeah this is a, this is an issue like, like i said if i drop a line here it's probably not gonna be the best idea for the curvature actually it works you know what maybe we're gonna do this so that will work all right fine so we can symmetrize it now good and we could try to drop a chamfer in here it's gonna be um it's gonna be all right i think cannot go too far because of these edges being really close but uh, i just need a delicate chamfer in here so Control b and we can move this edge a little bit further here yeah? just a bit it's gonna be all right so this chamfer is gonna catch a bit of light and we can just you know change the bevel i mean make it a bit smaller like this so it's more refined this bit here needs to be fixed shift one and sharp there we go and you know symmetrize it right if it doesn't symmetrize it um symmetry boom i should work now yeah perfect okay <clears throat> so now the bottom parts uh, let me see this bottom parts right so let's grab this piece and drop a chamfer I mean, if that's too big maybe just a little bit smaller awesome and EY extruded a bit okay and I think um, this should do now what I'm going to do here right, is introduce some cuts in the middle um, let me just see this two cuts like this would do right so one did it cut it difference there we go and whoa okay what the fuck um altex uh, reset the mirror and copy to the other side shift two um uh, let me just uh, recall these cutters and make them make them a bit longer so what the hell my mouse is not working so mod scroll toggle and select these cutters as y make them make them longer not on a cursor but on individual origins right why this one is black that's what i want to know gy let's move it here what the hell i think it's a bevel issue maybe let me see this bevel and And then shift pull. Okay, this is crazy. Let me just do something different here. Sometimes booleans get confused when the mesh is sort of like inside, if you know what I mean. It's inside this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it and separate it. Bring it here, close it, right? And then I'm gonna just do a cut here in local mode. 
because you know I want to get it done before before I die so there we go and simply copy to the other side and everyone is happy and we're going to select the booleans and solidify them and create this kind of an effect right so let's sharpen this and switch this to uh, it's on weight so it should be fine so what's going on in here didn't get sharpened so rerun mark sharp and it should be fine also bevel is a little bit too crazy so we're gonna just make it a bit you know less crazy and we're going to chamfer these and uh we could actually chamfer these as well what's going on here Let me fix this here. <coughs> I think the bevel is still too big. There we go. Okay. That's better. And let's simply mirror this. There we go. And we should be good. All right. Awesome. So we got this kind of thing going on. And we can, you know, insert them in. So uh, Control plus GY and move them inside a little bit, right? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Now we could just have some fun in the inside here. So do something like this and EM macro and insert it inwards, for example. And SY scale it a little bit. Or resharpen it like this. So it's gonna have an interest, you know, another interest in there, kind of like an inlet, which is pretty awesome. This one got uh, unsharpened again, so resharpen it. Cool. And we need something in the front as well, so, you know, um, we need some kind of a shelling in here. So let's select this one and shift curve extract and sharpen this and select this one and G, Y, right? And let's uh, go to Ngon, slice this. Maybe we're going to have some fun here, shall we? Slice it like this. And maybe with a bevel, you know, so it's going to be kind of corresponding with these shapes over there. And of course, we need loops and a lot of them. Otherwise, you know, disaster, right? So there you go. If you got supporting loops, everything is usually fine. Uh, so you got this shape going on here and we could so uh, we could slice it here like this right and let's recall this cutter this one and let's see if we can find a better spot for this cut a little bit less you know less problem causing we're cutting through a lot of geo so you know there's always going to be some beef but uh, you know this is a little bit less right so sharpen this and you know what i'm just gonna run a um you know boolean cleanup on this right so with machine so boolean cleanup and literally scroll your mouth scroll your mouth and then scroll your mouse and you go you're good to go move this one away and should be good to go this one can be removed and normally i would mirror this but it's just only one vert so i can just move it there we good shift two and let's uh let's create some cool pattern in here so i'm going to slice this right and i think the best way to do it would be to uh, we could do it with an angle you know like this right A bit less crazy like that cool and slice it through oh for fuck's sake one more time i think it was too big anyway so i'm gonna make it smaller something like this so and press v shift r to reset this if you if you have problems with your uh 
Let's see, it's not accurate enough. Okay, we're gonna just uh, turn it off and um, go for extrusion here. And we're going to fix this array manually. Sometimes this array is just going wonky, uh, but it's okay, we can do it this way. I think three maybe is gonna be enough, or maybe maybe five actually. Yeah, shift two. How are we looking? Yeah, we're looking pretty acceptable, I think. Looking pretty acceptable. We could find a better spot for it though. So G Y and you know move it a bit. Yeah, it's gonna be a mess no matter no matter what we do, so let's just apply it and fix it, it's not a big deal. GG and move it in here. Uh, we could connect them or not, doesn't matter really. Uh, where is the problem? There's a problem here, so GG. And GG. This one is too far. Same here, it's just too close, so GG, are we good? And fix all these. This one's not gonna get caught by the angle, so we just wish to wait. And the problem here now is if you have something like this, right? It's simply not enough um, bevel segments. So watch, if I introduce uh, more bevel segments, problem's gonna disappear, see? So it's on steep angles like that, that uh, sometimes bevel needs a bit more of a geo to curve around is kind of like a because you know it's an edge uh, very sharp angle right it's like you know I don't know 45 degrees or something so that's why it's falling apart um, here GG and move it in and we're just gonna simply mirror this to the other side how are we looking we're looking pretty cool awesome and another thing is we could split this you know like this, if you wanted to, right? So, X, split it into two parts. Uh, could be interesting, so sharpen. Sharpen. I don't know if it's gonna be okay. What on earth happened here? This is not manifold geo. If you have situations like this, this is flip normals, right? So watch. Uh, select everything. Alt N. Recalculate outside. Done. And this edge needs to go, and uh, this could be connected or not. In fact, this could go here, to be honest, like this. And the rest is fine, right? And the top part, same. Select everything, Alt N, recalculate outside. And this is simply too close, so I'm gonna combine these two. Oh, in fact, you know what? I'm just gonna move them away. Um, this could be connected, um, this is too close, and the rest is fine, no, no, it isn't, uh, cool, done, right, we got this, you know, paneling kind of motif here, which is pretty cool, now of course this engine can benefit from uh, decals, but this is not what we're going to be doing today, because we're not, uh, we're not gonna be decaling this because it's not the point of this um, project. But you know, and there you go. That should do for a kind of a sci-fi engine. I think we could add some interest in here as well, so just drop a loop and uh, yeah, macro this inside a little bit. So sharpen this, there we go. Yeah, so it's gonna add a little bit of a separation, which is pretty cool. We could add another one in here actually. Um, Maybe bigger one. Um, let's see how it looks. Uh, 
Yeah, it's pretty cool actually. It's pretty cool. Okay. Now another thing I could do is uh, just run some loops here so we got more or less quads. There you go. And uh, draw a box here. So come on. Select this and draw a box. There we go. And the only problem is that uh, this is not going to get a rate properly because what I would like to do, see, is a rate is like this on diagonally. So what I would do is I think I'm going to do it manually. So go to front view and shift D and R and then go to side view and GUI and move it in here and do the same thing the other way so um shift um in shift d and um duplicate it here side view and gy and move it in here so difference difference did this work? Difference. There we go. It did work, didn't it? Now, what I would need to do is actually um, rotate it a bit too, but I think it's cool. I'm just going to apply this so sharp and this. And of course, we're going to have to fix things because disaster, right? So let's, uh, let's just do that. And I think this is going to be it for this model. Oh my god. Um... This is too close, man. Too close. Um, Chi Chi, move it down out of the bevel area here, right? So instead of doing this, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect these two and connect these two and simply remove these edges here up to here, dissolve edges. And connect this one here and dissolve this edge and connect this one here so right and this one can go this one should be connected to this and everything should be all right GG move it in here connect these two uh, remove this edge and this one um, this end gun here is too big, it needs to be broken, so we could just run it here like this and connect it here, or uh, we could run another one here to the bottom, so break it down in here like this, and this should work. Um, let me just another loop here to break this and then we could connect it here like this it's okay or even somewhere in between it's all right now uh, it's gonna create problems let me see this there we go and remove this and connect this one here so it's a more natural angle this is not a beautiful geometry but it works so who gives a fuck um, this is not ideal here. I think this should be going here, like this. And there's this gap here in the bottom, so you could actually run another edge here. You could even run it like this, you know, and simply collapse it here. We'll be alright. And top. Yeah. these two um, this is not ideal here either so we could move it in here maybe it's gonna solve the problem kind of did probably if I ran this here we better a little bit more of a natural angle there you go these tiny changes in angles like here you see 
um, they really make a difference. So around this one here, nope, not here, here maybe. There you go. And this one probably needs to go lower, so select this whole edge and GG and move it lower. I should be fine. Right? And then we can just simply mirror it to the other side and remark sharp this one and we're done. Okay, shift two, cool. So there we go, now we got our really cool engine. Like I said, I'm not gonna be decaling this, but this probably would be a best time to do it. So, in fact, you know what? I'm gonna do one more thing here. So, because that sounds a bit, um, looks a bit boring here. I'm just gonna drop a circle, and in fact, circle maybe not. Maybe I'm gonna stick with boxes. So, drop a box here and simply cut it through, and sharpen this, and. GG, move it up a little bit. There we go. And there's some problem here. Look at that. Uh, collapses here and collapses here should help. There we go. And we're simply going to marry to the other side. So Alt X D symmetry. Boom. Done. Shift 2 and sort it. Nice, so we got a really cool engine. You know, I'll probably run a chamfer in here. Could be could be interesting, so I have some problems in here I gotta fix. Just a small one. Reduce the bevel because it's insane. So there we go. Same here, I think it's the bevel just being too big. There is some problem here, so let's fix this. Here too. On the other side, let's see this. Oh, come on. Yeah, same thing. Gotta connect these two. And whoa, okay then. How about this one? There we go, that's better. And this one probably should be falling here. So remove this. And this angle is now too big, right? So what you wanna do is split it in half like this, you know? It's just too big. It's gonna release the tension here, you see. And this would be okay. And symmetrize it to the other side and shift two and whoa, shift two and be good. Right? So this chair for you see is gonna open up this gap here and create a little bit of a um, bigger paneling for uh, for the uh, for this bit here, right? Which is pretty cool. Also, you know what? Uh, we could just cut this asymmetrically here like this or maybe not now nah, i'm gonna leave it it's fine all right well that would be it guys uh, i think we're looking pretty good this bevel here is a little bit too small yeah that will do it's a little bit too comparing to this one because this one is really crazy so let's make it more shallow so it kind of matches the top a little bit better yeah, there you go. Now, what I don't like about it is these two lines overlapping. So what I might do is simply go to cursor and RY and just rotate it up a little bit or down a little bit. Uh, up is actually fine, I think, just covering this one. Or RY and rotate it downwards so it opens up this engine a bit more here. You know, like this. Either one is fine. Uh, let me see, or why? Maybe close is better so it kind of corresponds with the top. Yeah, okay, fine. Awesome. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Give us a like and sub if you did enjoy it. And all the links to, you know, the add ons I've been using, like hard ups and box cutter and mesh machine and machine tools, are in the video description. So, if you would like to get them, uh, that's where you're going to find them. I think this is a bevel problem here too. So switch from angle to weight, sorted. Yeah, you're going to watch these things because sometimes angles are really too shallow and you're going to get these problems, right? So anyway, all right, guys, catch you in the next video.